What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we have a pretty awesome video. We're going to be checking out the Ozark Trail 12 person dark rest tent. This is an absolutely massive tent with lots of awesome features. So we're going to be going over all of the pros, all of the cons and everything that you guys need to know before you possibly purchase this tent. We're getting into it right now. So let's get into some of the features of this tent. It does sleep 12 people. It is a massive tent coming in at 20 feet by 10 feet, which is absolutely huge. It is 80 inches tall or about six and a half feet. The tent does weigh about 45 pounds and I've currently been able to find them for about $2.99. Now I know a lot of people have found them much cheaper. So let me know down in the comments how much you guys paid for yours. So there are different versions of this tent. This is the 12 person. They also make a 10 person, and then they also have a smaller six person, which I'm showing here. All of them are gonna be great. They're all gonna have about the same features as far as material goes. The setup on these tents are incredibly easy, which we're gonna show you right now. One of the greatest things about this tent is how easy it is to set up, especially the fact that it's 20 feet by 10 feet and supposedly sleeps 12 people. So. Um, I've put know, it together myself before. So. You have put it together yourself. So it's not too terrible as far as setup goes. All right. It's a little dirty from the last trip. Here, actually. Oh, yeah, I did, did use this here last. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so we get it out of the bag. You untie the horrible knots that somebody tied in it. So now you just kind of pull it out, get it straight. You got your center pole here. And then all the other poles just kind of come out like this. very important to make sure you uh, get this lock locked. those into place yeah because if it doesn't lock uh, the tent will like sag it looks really weird I mean it still works it does still kind of work so once you get it to this point you slide these top bars till it locks okay now we're there This top bar did not lock. It did. Okay. Did it lock? Yeah, we're good. So now, now it's literally just a matter of extending these poles. Super easy. And then kind of like stretching everything out. Oh, there it is. <laughs> So as you guys can see, just in a minute or two, you can have this tent from in a bag to up. Now on the bag, it says two minutes. With two people, that's definitely possible. With one person, it's probably gonna take you about three or four minutes. Now, normally when we're out camping, you guys would see us with our huge tent mansion, which is actually a six person tent. This is a 12 person tent, but it's about a third of the size of our big tent. Now we're only camping for a day, so we didn't wanna bring the whole huge mess of big tent out. So if we're just looking for simplicity, throw the tent up, put the tent away, really, really simple. Um, this is our go-to tent. What I really, really like about this, aside from it being super duper easy, is this dark material. So even if it's daylight out, you can sleep in this thing. It's super dark inside. We're gonna take you guys on a tour on the inside to show you what it looks like. But when you're out camping, the best things to have are obviously a tent that is waterproof, a tent that is super easy to set up, and a tent that you can sleep in during the day because a lot of times you're up late and it's nice to be able to go in here and take a little bit of a nap. So we will show you like all the features inside. It's very, very similar to the last tent we did, which are our 12 man Ozark. So it's basically the same tent with a couple extra features. This tent is definitely built a lot better. Um, one nice thing about it is, is it's on sale right now. So we actually found this tent for under $200, which is a really, really good deal for this tent because they were right around $400 not too long ago. All right, so probably the most difficult part of setting this tent up, if you could call it a difficult part, 
is getting this rain fly on. So the top of this tent has like mesh, just like our other tent. Um, so if you just left it off of there, um, you'd be fine unless it rained. Uh, and then obviously you're gonna let uh, a lot of water in there. So this is what keeps the water out. So the rain fly is pretty important, uh, especially here in Florida. And it does look like we might get a little bit of rain. So we are gonna put it on. So just to show you guys, I do like this clear plastic they put on there. So like if you want to, you can leave these open and you can still look up at the stars even if it's raining. So I do kind of like that. Um, so we're gonna put this on. We'll show you how that's done. So the easiest way is to get one person on one side, one person on the other, and just kind of walk it over the top. And I'm gonna let Nikki get her side clipped in first. Okay, now come to the back, Nikki, and I'll throw the rope to you. Okay. That's fine. And I threw you the rope over there to this side. Oh, God. All right, so then as Nikki holds that rope, this will allow us to just kind of sling that over and super easy. All right, so once you get it up and over, this is super easy. So on a bungee? They're little bungee clips and they hook right to the tent just like that. And that is super easy. And there's just a few of them. Now, like I said, if you don't need the rain fly, you could leave it off, which we have done. Um, but you would be setting yourself up to possibly get some water in here. Now, the ropes they have on here are guy ropes. So you would take them and strap them down to the ground with uh, more stakes. Honestly, we don't do this very often. Normally, just the stakes that we put in on the ground are plenty enough. So we usually don't mess with these. Yeah, now they say this is a 12 person tent. Um, I think if you guys have seen my last video on the last Ozark Trail tent that we had with the 12 people, unless you like stacked bodies in here, um, there's pretty much no way you're gonna get 12 people in here. Now we only have three of us. So three people in this tent is no problem. Five people in this tent, probably acceptable. Anything over five people though, you're gonna be super crowded in here. So like I said, five, six people, acceptable. 12 people, not a chance. So they do give you a door on either side. You have a door here. Actually, Ethan's opening it up. He was doing some sweeping. He was doing some sweeping. <laughs> Thank you, sir. From my, my last beach camp. Appreciate it. Cleaned up from. Terrible. So we got a window here, a window here. Just like on our other 12 person Ozark Trail, you have these vents here. Now you can stake them out to where they stay open. We usually don't because a lot of times we're actually running AC in here. We have a window here. This is a multifunction door, so it can open up as a full door. You can leave it up as a half door. Nikki's showing us off the windows. And then the doors, like I said, they the windows themselves will open, so you can just have the window open or you can open the full door. One thing they did on this tent in particular, um, first of all, the dark color is gonna keep it nice and dark on the inside. And it is made of a thicker material than the last Ozark Trail tent we had. So I believe it's 130D, the material. So it's not super duper thick, but it's definitely thicker than the last Ozark, which I believe was 70D. Now, as most Ozark Trails tents go, they give you this little area that you can put your power cord in. So let's take you guys inside. I'll show you what that looks like. So it is a little bit dirty because like I said, we have used this quite a few times now. I'm 6'3", and you can see that my head does just barely hit, and this is all the way in the corner. Now, if I step out closer to the middle, I have plenty of room here, probably about a foot in between my head and the actual top of the tent. So there's plenty of room here. Now, we will set up two air matches in here, but you could definitely set three air matches up in here. The, the length of the tent is 20 feet, and then it's 10 feet wide. So it is plenty spacious. So you guys will notice that it is pretty dark in here. That's the whole point of this tent. It is a dark rest tent. We have all the windows and doors open and it does keep it fairly dark in here. Now you can also open these skylights. And when we do, you can obviously see that's gonna let a lot more light in. So because they give you that clear plastic, you can still see out in here, which I do really, really like, but it will also keep the weather out. Now there are four of those, so we can open the battens in the back too. So, like I said, you can open all of these, giving yourself. Oh yeah, that's a lot more light in the day. Yeah, so you can give yourself quite a bit of light in this tent. Um, 
you know, if that's what you're looking oh, for. Yeah. Yeah, but then if you want, you can zip up everything and it will be completely dark in here. You could sleep in this tent in the middle of the day, no problem, which is something that I really, really enjoy. Because a lot of times like we're out late, we're doing stuff. It's just kind of nice to be able to sleep in a little bit past 6.30 when the light is coming up. And you know, if you want to get up really early, no problem, set an alarm, or you can leave it open like this and let all that light in if that's something you really, really want. Like I said, I do like the windows. The tent material being a little bit thicker is definitely nice. Some of the other nice features, they have these pockets in here. And there's several too. It's not like, yeah. you know, most of them they'll have one. So they uh, have this pocket that here. One. There's another one on this the other side. There's another one over here. And there's another, there's four of those. So yeah, there's quite a few of those. Another thing that you're gonna find is stuff like this where they have a place that you can hang a lantern. There's a few of these located throughout the tent. So you can definitely have places to hang whatever you need to hang up. Now, this is a basic tent. This is like I said, this is no way, shape or form like our tent mansion. But for when we just don't wanna get all crazy and set something like that up, this is a perfect tent. It's also probably one of the better tents that you're gonna find here in America. So without like importing a tent over like we did, um, this is a fabulous tent. It's plenty big enough for a small family, even a medium sized family. Um, and the fact that it has all these built in features. And like I said, the fact that you can get it right now for around 200 bucks is kind of amazing because I think we spent almost 380 bucks on this tent when we initially bought it. So, you know, 200 bucks, that's a much better deal, obviously. Um, actually, I think it's even cheaper than the non-dark rest right now. So definitely check those deals. Try